Hey everyone, this is Mary DeMuth and this is Pray Every Day where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. We're continuing our journey in John. We're in John chapter 16, verse 25 through 33, which is the end of chapter 16. And this is in the International Children's Bible, ICB. This is what it says. Jesus is speaking. I have told you these things using words that hide the meaning. But the time will come when I will not use words like that to tell you things. I will speak to you in plain words about the Father. In that day you will ask the Father for things in my name. I am saying that I will not need to ask the Father for you. No, the Father himself loves you. He loves you because you have loved me. And he loves you because you have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father into the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Then the followers of Jesus said, You are speaking clearly to us now. You are not using words that are hard to understand. We can see now that you know all things. You can answer a person's question even before he asks it. This makes us believe that you came from God. Jesus answered, So now you believe? Listen to me. A time is coming when you will be scattered. Each of you will be scattered to your own home. That time is now here. You will leave me. I will be alone. But I am never really alone. Why? Because the Father is with me. I told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world you will have trouble, but be brave. I have defeated the world. Mind if I pray for you? Um, Lord, thank you for a day to serve you to worship you, to listen for your voice, to recount the blessings that you've given us. Thank you that you know all things. There's nothing that is hidden from you. You even know the things that are hidden from us. You know the way that our heart and our mind and our body and our spirit interact with with each other and we have no idea how all those things work. Lord, I thank you that you can answer a person's question even before he or she asks it. And Lord, that I see that throughout the Gospels. I see that you perceived people's thoughts and then answered their questions before they even voiced them. And you know what? That just gives me hope and it gives me encouragement because it knows. Uh, it makes me realize that um, your desire to hear from me is not from lack of knowledge. You already know everything about me and all my thoughts, but you want to hear from me because of the power of relationship. You know already what's on my mind. You know the tangled web that is in, that is my mind. And yet you long to hear from us and uh, for us to tell you our stories out loud. And so, Lord, I um, thank you for that. Thank you that you know my question before I even ask it, but that you allow me and welcome me into dialogue with you, even though the question might be hard. Questions like, where were you when bad things happened? Questions like, Why does evil seem to flourish on this earth? Questions um, like, why is this dream unrealized though I have worked for it for years upon years upon years? Or questions like, um, for those who are single, why haven't you sent me someone to love? Um, There's so many questions that we have, Lord, but I thank you that you're big enough to receive them and that your desire is for us to talk to you about those things instead of fester, let them fester and let them re-wound us over and over again. Lord, you also predicted the scattering of the disciples and Father, I just ask for your forgiveness now for being one of them. I know there are times where I have not had fidelity toward you, where I have not fully bent the knee before you, where I have chosen my own path over yours, where I have rebelliously decided to meet my own needs in my own way rather than turning to you. So Jesus, would you forgive me for that? Uh, Forgive me for the things that I turn to other than you. Forgive me for the idols that I think will fill me other than you. And Lord, I I come to you today and we come to you today longing to be set free, longing to be whole, longing to be forgiven, longing to be as white as snow and knowing that as we confess our sins before you, you are faithful, you are righteous, you will forgive those sins, you will cleanse us and bathe us from all the unrighteousness, you will set our feet upon a rock, you will make our footsteps firm. Lord, I thank you for that right now. In this moment, I can have that kind of peace, and so can the person listening here today. 
Thank you. Thank you for that peace. We tra- we um, praise you for the shalom that you offer us. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. So grateful for you and so grateful you're here. Um, Just reminded again of this last bit of scripture that I prayed over you. I told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world, you will have trouble, but be brave. I have defeated the world. Go in the strength of that truth today, friend.